friends, this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral, and today I want to show you guys how I make my peppermint foot lotion. It's really more like a body butter, but it is absolutely soothing. I love it. I make it for friends as gifts, and I just want to show you how simple and how cheap it is to make a great foot lotion. Now, the first thing you're going to need is what is in front of you, which is a bowl. You're going to need a whisk. You can also use your mixer if you would prefer. You're also going to need some baby lotion. Now mine came from the um, from the Dollar Tree and it is the lavender scented. And you're also going to want some Vaseline. And lastly, you're going to need some pure peppermint extract. And then you want to also have some cute little jars or a container to store your stuff in if you want to give it away as a gift. So the first thing you're going to do, and I'm going to get a spoon to get it out, is you're going to want to open up your Vaseline and scoop this out and put it into this bowl. Vaseline is awesome for dry skin and it happens to be very very inexpensive. When I get out of the shower at night I like to rub this lotion all over my legs and my feet especially after I shave my legs or you know before I go to bed. It's very soothing, very relaxing, and hopefully I can get this um, out of the jar for you guys. All right, we got it all out of the jar. And now we want to use some of our baby lotion. Now I use about half of the container, but you can use as much or as little as you want. And I try to use about half. I think it mixes well with the... Um, and I'll notice that we have a total of $2 worth of stuff in my bowl. And I know I've been to the store and have seen foot lotions for sometimes $20 depending on what brand you want to pick. So what you want to do is you want to try to whisk all of this together and get this combined and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I got it pretty mixed together as you can see here. And now you want to add two drops or about a teaspoon, I would say, of your peppermint extract. And you want to combine this with your stuff and at this point I'm using a spatula so that I can make sure that I get all of it good and combined together. That is already smelling really really good right now. <laughs> if you have aching legs or feet this just feels so good on. There you go. I'll show you closer. Um, what it looks like. That's what it looks like there in the bowl. And now I'm just going to put it in this container. I think. <laughs> there we go. Make sure your jar is nice and clean. And I just tap it a little bit just to make sure that it's good and, and down where it needs to be. And then I just put my lid on. And then you can put a pretty little label on these or however you want to do it. But I make a lot of these for my friends and they absolutely love these little gifts. 
that's what it looks like all in the jar and I can't wait to give this to a friend of mine and I'm going to jar up what is left in the bowl. I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little video. I've been meaning to get this out to y'all for a while now. Um, I think I've had actually had this stuff to do this for two months and I'm just now getting around to it so I apologize but I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, let me know if you make your own foot lotions. I will link down below. I also make a homemade sugar scrub and a coffee shower scrub that if you're interested in making that um, you can watch those videos and I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye.